little tiny Levante, second in La Liga. Here's how we did it. Now then folks, hope you're well. So something a bit different today. Yes, it's a tactic download, but I'm not convinced this one's gonna work for everyone. So it's more to give you some ideas on what to do on a bit of a 442 diamond kind of remix. I've just finished a barnstorming season with tiny little Levante in La Liga, a season which we finished second only to Real Madrid. Now you can see we lost seven games there. However, at the start of the season, those first one, two, three, four, five games, I was using the same formation, but the team instructions were all a bit different. When I finally got the team settled into the formation and team instructions that I wanted, the results were fantastic. You can see we didn't lose until the Athletic Bilbao game there and further on down went on another great run, only losing a game in the cup to Real Sociedad, a game away at the Nou Camps to Barca, and then right at the end of the season to Osasuna. So after those first five games, we only lost two games in the league. So how was the formation and the team instructions set up for Levante to do this incredible finish in La Liga? So there's the team shape. The team shape stayed the same. Four, one, three, two. So it's a 4-4-2 kind of remix, diamondy remix kind of thing. I love doing new shapes and this year I'm all over narrow systems with aggressive fullbacks. So I started with that one. And the reason I started with that one is because I trialed it with Inter Milan. So here's the season I did with Inter. I always trial tactics with a big team like Inter just to see the flow of the tactic and see if it's going to work. And you can see this one, the one 30 out of 38 games, only losing four, really good defensive record, scoring 95. And what stood out for me when we went to the end of season stats was there was nowhere to be seen in the top goal scorer charts. The goals were all spread out all over the place. In fact, my top scorer was Law Toro Martinez, the absolute unit that he is. 24 goals in total, but only 14 in the league. So the goals were spread all over the place. They obviously enjoyed the tactic. Look at the state of the midfield. It looks like a blooming roller coaster. They love playing with each other. Goals spread out all over the place. I'm having a look now. Even Atora Vidal there is playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Scored 10 in Serie A. So I had faith in the tactic and the shape that it would work quite well. However, those first five games with Levante, they just didn't take to it. So I had to make some tweaks. So what I'm thinking is that formation and setup is ideal for a stronger team that's going to dominate a league. But I need to make some tweaks for a team like Levante, who were predicted to finish somewhere like 14th. So for Levante, the first five games we used our tactic, but watching the game, we weren't quite getting it. As you can see from the schedule, we lost against Villarreal, Real Madrid, no disgrace there. Draw against Betis, but we weren't quite getting it. And then we flipped it. We flipped it at this Elch game and look what happens. 5-2, five 5-2. Two, five two. Couple more draws. Valencia away, no mugs. 4-0, beating Atletico, beating Sevilla. This is at the point I knew I was onto something. So this is what we did. So we made little tweaks here and there, little tweaks. So there's the original tactic and we changed it over to this one. You can see the little tweaks there. We dropped the line of engagement back a bit a bit so we weren't as exposed if we didn't win the ball back and we changed the anchor man to a defensive midfielder, asking him to hold his position in there. I actually asked my wing back on the right to be more aggressive in the first tactic. He's a full back on attack. So I just made little things watching the game until we finally cracked it. I also asked a few players, such as the false nine Morales, to shoot less often because we were having a load of shots. Went to the data hub, we had loads of shots, wasteful finishing, clawed that back, asked a few of the players, such as the false nine, to shoot less. The Mazala asked him to shoot less. Even the box to box midfielder, shoot less, waiting for better opportunities. And it started to flow. So we turned into a competitive little team. Tackles one ratio, 80%. Tackles one, we were second in that. Totally 701 behind my head there. And tackles one per game, we're averaging nearly 19. The second best goal scoring record in La Liga. And if you think about the teams that are in La Liga, that's a bombing result with little Levante. Now, as for transfers, we didn't bring any wonder signings in. I did make a couple. I'll show you them now. So here is a transfer history. These are pre-done transfers. By the way, I even made Shokran Mustafi have a good season. I mean... Holy hell, right? He had a 7.5 over the season, so even big shocker enjoyed the tactic. We brought in 
two players. Ishmael Kazas from Malaga, the league below. We bought him in to play right wing back. Fitting with the club vision. Young player, 21 years old. Not a world beater by any means. And the other signing was David Dalabora. I recommend this boy. From Real Madrid's B team, he was back up for left wing back. I am going to carry on this Levante save offline to see where we can go. And this is why I was concentrating on these type of signings. But those are the only two signings I made. Not you know, any loan signings. It was just what we had. And they rolled with it. And you'd think in a narrow system it'd be your wing backs. Although important for the Levante, they weren't the most important players. In fact, I had a bit of a time on the left hand side. They weren't performing. My right side was, my left wasn't. But it was down to two players that we were so successful. The Mazala and the false nine. In fact, let's make it free because the poacher was badass as well. Those three players I was mentioning were the Mazala, the false nine and the poacher. Now my false nine is Jose Morales, 34 years old. He actually wants to play as a winger. I made him play in here as a false nine. Let's just get them attributes up. He's got the flair, the balance. A winger can play a false nine, right? What a season, 23 goals in 37 games. Average rating, by the way, crew, 7.46 for a 34 year old in La Liga. Now his strike partner was Marty here, Roger Marty. 31 years old, bit of a journeyman striker, played him as a poacher, so I just said to him, all I want you to concentrate on is pinging that ball in the back of the net. 28 goals in 34 games, top scorer in La Liga, not Benzema, not any of them boys at Barca, Roger Marti at Levante, 28 goals in 34 from poacher. A lot of people will have used this man in the past, Ennis Bardi, there he is, from Macedonia, in this Mazala role. 9 assists in 31 games, 7.33, just kind of ran the whole team, beautifully done. Next door to him was an advanced playmaker, who did okay, but it's a position I probably could improve on, only 8 assists, may look to change that role maybe, maybe if someone, some of you guys use this tactic, you might look to change that role, but your Mazala would be the creative force. The wingbacks were decent as well, Kazas came in with 6 assists, but like I said on the other side, I had a bit of trouble down the left, Francesca there only a 6.72, and the regular left back was Carlos Kleck, only two assists. So there is scope to improve this team still further. Levante World Order did bits. I love this save. I loved it. I played through the whole season. Now there is a couple of things that I did do when I was playing when I came up against teams that were defending a bit. So when they're defending a bit, as we got better, teams started to drop back. So what I did was I would ask my wing backs one and two. I would ask the team to overlap left and right. Sometimes I would drop focus play through the middle to make us less predictable. I did this when we were gaining something like 60% possession and knew we were dominating, it's time to break teams down. That was a nice little option. Also, I would use my data hub. So this is our pass map, but if our opposition pass map looked a bit like this, so the keeper was picking out defenders quite often and starting moves from the back, I would do the following. I would ask my strikers and attacking midfielders to tightly mark the center backs, thus cutting out that pass, making them play it long and us getting the ball back faster seemed to work. So there are two versions of that 442 Diamond Remix available for you to base your game on. I do encourage you to have a look at them and then form your own tactic from them. I don't think they'll work on every team, as we saw with Levante. The Inter tactic didn't work for them. I'm not sure the Levante tactic would work for Inter. It's all about the players you've got, what type of level team you are. As a reminder, there is the Levante tactic. That took us to second in La Liga. Next season, we're in the Champions League. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with Levante with a few better players, a couple better wing-backs, for example, and the Inter tactic that won 30 out of 38 in Serie A and took them to the title is there. Some little tweaks here and there. Nothing much, though. It's very similar, but this one is probably for a higher-ranked team to run with. Maybe you like your Barcelona's, your Real Madrid's. be interesting to see what they can do with that. If you do have a go at any of these tactics, do let me know down in the comments, but I do encourage you to have a look at them, use the templates, and then tweak around for yourself, especially... If I was going to change one role, it would probably be this one. I'm not sure on this one. That's still a work in progress. Nice, icy lemonade with the...